Hello, welcome to this video of Palo Alto Networks Cloud NGFW with AWS Cloud One. My name is Nidhi Pandey and I'm a senior technical marketing engineer within the Software Firewall Group. AWS Cloud One is a service that can be used to manage a global network. It connects resources running across the cloud, the on-prem branch offices, data center, and VPCs across the AWS global network. In this demo, we will see a multi-region deployment using a VPC attachment with Cloud One. The segments in the Cloud One represents different network segments in the region. For example, here we have prod segment and the security segment. We also have a hybrid segment for the data center and branch connectivity. The routing with these segments define how the traffic is forwarded to the next stop. Here, we have Cloud NGFW deployed in the security segment within the region one. Any east-west communication between the prod segment in region two and the prod segment in region one or vice versa is sent to the security segment for security checks and inspection by Cloud NGFW. If we go to the AWS console, we have a global network defined. If we look under the core network, and look at the topology, you would notice that in this Cloud One service, we have two edge locations defined, one in the Mumbai region and the other one in the Tokyo region. Going to the topology tree, you can see that in the Mumbai region, I have two segments, the security segment and the application segments. The security segment has the Cloud NGFW deployed and we also have the VPC IDs mentioned in the topology tree. In the Tokyo segment, we have one segment defined, which is the application segment. If we look at the routes, I can select this segment and choose the location to understand the routes defined within the core network. Here, these are the subnets of the application segments within the Mumbai and the Tokyo region. And these are the VPC attachments associated with the cloud van. Now going to the policies deployed, if we look at the live policy version, each edge is associated with a different ASN number. We have the information about the edge locations, the segments, and the routes associated with each of these segments with the VPC attachments. Now going to the route table within the region, if we look at the application route table, you would notice that the traffic towards the other region is going via the Cloud One service. Similarly, in the Tokyo region, I have a route for the destination in Mumbai application segment to go via the Cloud Van service. And if we look at the Cloud NGFW endpoint route table, I have a reverse route entry to go via the core network. So any communication between the applications within the region or across the regions will be forwarded to the Cloud Van service and the Cloud Van routing can forward the traffic towards the VPC, which is hosting the Cloud NGFW service. Now let's check the traffic flow from the Tokyo region. I'm going to connect to the application here. The application in Mumbai region has an IP address in the 10.20 network. So I'm going to copy this address. And from Tokyo region, I'm going to access the web server, which is hosted in the Mumbai region. And we see we have a response from the AWS console in the Mumbai region. I have the firewall which is deployed in the security segment and I have an any any rule to allow all the traffic. The logs for this traffic can be seen in the CloudWatch log group. So going to the CloudWatch from the AWS console, if I look under logs, click on the log group created for Cloud NGFW and we can see that we have a new log stream which was generated today. And if we double click on this, we can see a web browsing event from the source IP towards this destination in Mumbai region. To summarize, you can inspect the traffic by Cloud NGFW service, which is deployed AWS with the Cloud WAN connectivity as well. Thank you for watching.